Hey guys, this is Ishwalamte. Now from the title of this video, it may sound or look a bit awkward. But hey, have you ever been in a situation where you had to upgrade any of your tech devices and after doing so, it felt like upgrading and downgrading at the same time? Well, that's my story. So just some few weeks back, I had to upgrade my phone. That's the Huawei Y9 2019. Yeah, you see it. Uh, to the Huawei uh, P30 light here you go initially i wanted to go for the p30 pro but uh, i had to check my budget as well which is very important now after performing this um upgrade or downgrade should i say uh, or yeah after changing my phone i actually had a couple of um you know um downside as well as good side during this particular you know change so i want to share with you some of these um things or some of the things i did discover that I wish I could still have with my P30 light, but it's light, so you can't expect more. Anyway, so starting with the Huawei Y9 2019 has a bigger screen size of 6.5 inches, whereas the P30 light has 6.15 inches. Yeah, you know, I've been using a very huge um, screen for some time and changing to something smaller. It feels some way. Now the size and weight of this is a bit more than this, which I really appreciate a bit. Of course, you can't have this size and then expect the screen size of this. But I wish it could have, you know, had, you know, a screen size of this. That's for me. Yeah, so that, that was the first thing in there, which has to do with the screen size. And then the next thing has to do with the battery power. Now the Y9 2019 has a 4000 mAh battery power. Whereas the P30 Lite has a 3340 mAh. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, switching from a 4000 to a 3000 plus. But what can I do? Yeah, I needed to perform the upgrade, but that's fine. And then also, um, aside the battery, aside the screen size, um, this one has two you know, front cameras, whereas this has one. But someone will ask, does that really count? Well, in some way, it does. Because this uh, two cameras perform different functions, whereas this one, uh, even though it's huge, of about 32 megapixels, depending on what uh, version you have, there's 24 uh, megapixels, there's 32. So there's the 32 megapixels. And this one is 16 and then two megapixels, but it's two. Two is two, yeah. That's just about it. And then um, finally, um, the last thing here has to do with when you want to upgrade your storage. So this one allows you to use two SIM cards, that's the nano SIM, whereas you can also use a micro SD card as part of it. Whereas this, even though it's a dual SIM, um, if you want to upgrade your storage, you probably will have to sacrifice one of your SIM card. Yeah. You have to sacrifice one. So those, those are some some of the few things that um, this has and uh, P30 Lite hasn't got, but I wish it, it does have. But it's fine. Now that is the downgrade for me. Yeah. And um, now let's get into the upgrade aspects. That's um, from the P30 Pro. I'm sorry, P30 Lite. Yeah, I wish I could get a P30 Pro, but you know, considering the budget. So the P30 Lite has a couple of things. So first of all, the RAM size of this one is 6 GB, whereas this is um, 4 GB. So P30 wins, yay. And then also talking about the ROM or the storage, internal storage, this one is 128 GB. Yeah, and this is 64 GB. So, you know, storage was one of the main issues which had to, you know, get me to change to the P30 Lite. Aside that, you also have this, you know, um, having a couple of features which we'll come back to shortly. Now, this one uses a Type C. Yeah, hey, this is a micro SB. 2.0 yeah i don't want to say that loudly so yeah um so we have the rom we have the rom we have the um the type c usb which is very cool as well as um, when we come to the charging aspects now this one takes a very you know shorter period to charge fast so it has the uh, fast charging which is um 18 watts and this one is just 10 watts so yeah p30 wins so these are some of the few things that i actually identified about this phone but aside that this phone actually has a couple of great features which i i have actually come to you know enjoy and like so much now let's talk a bit about the camera the back camera you actually have three back cameras of the p30 light and then the first one is 48 megapixel yeah 
and uh, you have also you also have eight megapixels as well as two megapixels. Now this was just doing uh, thirty megapixels as well as uh, two megapixels. So you can understand. Now for the P30 Lite, there's version of uh, twenty-four megapixels um, that aside it forty-eight megapixels. So I'm actually fortunate to have the forty-eight megapixels. Then also we come to some features which uh, this particular P30 Lite has got. So the first one which I really appreciate a lot has to do with the screen time balance or yeah the screen time balance which actually gives you six hours of screen time a day and I think this is very cool in a sense that it actually helps you become a bit productive getting to know the number of times you actually open certain apps or the time you are spending on a couple of apps on your phone which is very cool because I realized the first time I started using this phone I realized I was spending about close to six hours on my phone wow and ever since i got aware because my phone was telling me this was the time and the good thing is once you actually get to your six hours it takes you out all the apps you can't have the access you can't have access to any of the apps unless you request for um, additional time or limited time which i think is actually a good one in there so ever since i got to know that i spent like close to six hours on my phone ha huh. I actually now spend about two to three hours. Yeah, that's a good thing. So thanks to the P30 Lite, which has made it possible for me to be able to see that. Aside that, it has a couple of other um, functionalities as well as features as well. So it has a doubly um, Atmos feature as part, as part of the sound. Uh, now they are both running on um, Android 9. So that, uh, that that's a recent update. Is that a recent one? Yeah, I think I should check, but that's fine. So they both run on um, Android 9 and um yeah i think they both have um kind of same screen colors but this one is a bit brighter than this one um yeah this one has more colors to its um screen resolution as part of uh aside this now they both shoot videos at 30 frames and as well as 1080 so that's a good one now one cool aspect of this phone is that it has a camera stabilizer ha huh. Yeah, you know, I use an app called um, Filmic Pro and I'm able to, you know, turn on stabilization in case I'm um, depending on what kind of footage I'm trying to shoot. And it was actually awesome to see this small little guy having that feature in here, which makes it very cool. So you probably will be shooting with your hand and you still get a great footage. So that's to the um, help of P30 Lite. Now, these are some of the few things I actually um, identified about these two phones. Um, they are both great phones. I've actually been a Huawei fan for a very longer time because I like the kind of innovation and technology they bring to the tech space. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the P30 Pro as of now, since it's uh, one of my biggest targets. It's a bit expensive. That's how come I got a P30 Lite. But if you're a good Samaritan out there and you want to sponsor me or support me with a P30 Pro, hooray! I'm actually open and welcome to it. As well as if Huawei is watching this video, you guys, uh, you did a great job out there. Can you kindly support me with a P30 Pro, please? Yes. Yeah, and anyway, if you happen to anyone who know anyone who works at Huawei, kindly share this video so they get to see it. Yeah, it doesn't hurt supporting me to P30 Pro, making a lot of things possible for me, but that's just by the way. So um, that's actually um, all this video is about, talking about the Huawei Y9 2019, me changing from that to the Huawei P30 Lite. Uh, so far, this phone has actually served me well, and it's sad I had to let it go, but uh, it's fine, it's okay. So welcome new baby, I hope you make me proud. So thank you guys for watching. If you are new to this channel, all you have to do is to smash the subscribe button, smash it like you own it, and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Eshmo Lamte, and don't upgrade and downgrade at the same time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye guys.